Hey there, it's Ashley here. Welcome to Grateful Art and today I'd love to show you how to carve a pumpkin. I mean pineapple. On this channel we learn about art, get creative, and do do-it-yourself art projects you'll love in your home. If that sounds fun to you, hit subscribe. For this project, you're going to need a cutting board, a knife with a pointy end, a melon scoop or a spoon, a bowl, and a pineapple. Step one, cut the top off with your sharp knife. Who like that? Step two, you're gonna cut an X in your pineapple. On this side now, make sure you don't reach too far on the end. Then you're gonna take your sharp knife tip and you're going to go around that X. Make sure you don't poke through the side or cut your hand. <laughs> you wanna make sure that you get down pretty far. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect down there because you're gonna scoop it out. Next step is my favorite step. And what you need is you want a scooper, which I like the melon scooper because it has a nice edge and you scoop out your fruit and then you can eat it. Can't do that with a pumpkin. While you're eating it, you should be thinking about how you're gonna get creative and what you're gonna carve into your pumpkin. I mean, pineapple. Whatever you don't wanna eat, just add it to your bowl. Once you get down to the bottom, there'll be some core down there and it'll be hard to get out, but all you need to do is take your knife and just make X's in it. Keep making X's until it starts falling apart and then you can scoop it out. See? Once your pineapple has the middle out of it, it's time to be creative. This step, you can take your knife and do whatever you want. I'll show you how to make a little jack and lantern So you just wanna make your triangles. I'll try not to cut myself. Don't you worry about me. Okay. Nice little triangle here. Pop it out. And triangle angle here. There we go. Other direction. And trying to make it even with that one. <laughs> All right, what lovely eyes you have. Here comes the big jack-o'-lantern smile. Hook it in, go down. Give it a tooth. And continue the smile. I'm gonna make sure I have another tooth on that side. The tooth is a little small. What a lovely smile you have. Let me give you your hair back. Look at your lovely hairdo. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to get creative with mine. So you know, I'm not even going to use a knife. I'm going to use a drill. <laughs> girls and their power tools. So I'm gonna just go right in between each one of these little, I don't even know what they're called, and just make a hole. I'm just paying attention to making holes, and the holes are gonna go this direction. Okay, and then I'm gonna go up one, quite quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the freezer. Let me know in the comments below how yours turned out. 
Thank you, patrons, for supporting this channel. You can click right here in, or somewhere and become a patron and get lots of art tips, more step-by-step -step tutorials from me, and then more about art. Patrons make these videos possible. Thanks. Maybe all of it, you might have diarrhea though. Oh, I love that. I won't. I love that.